This is part two of my vlog in Kaohsiung. If you haven't seen part one, I recommend you go check that one out too. All right, good morning. We're off to CG Island. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, it's an island. Uh, just really short ferry ride from Kaohsiung. Wow, this is bizarre. There's like no one in this train station, in the subway station. All right, let's grab the Gushan Ferry. Man, that is one fast-moving container ship coming into a harbor. Kaohsiung has the largest and busiest harbor in Taiwan. Look at all the container ships just waiting to head into port. All right, we rented some bikes on CG Island. You can rent electric ones. You can get pulled around in a rickshaw. These were only 100 new Taiwanese dollars for the whole day. All right, so this is the path. We're gonna just take the bike path all the way around. There's certain parts you can't go on. So now we're just on an observation deck along the bike path on the island. You can kind of get a view of Kaohsiung from here. It's kind of cool. And then there's all kinds of little installations and different things you can see along the way. Everyone lining up for their Instagram photos or TikTok. We climbed all the way up the hill to this lighthouse and this used to be a fort of some sort. So over there, right over here is where we biked along the shore. And this is the main CG Island. And over here is Kaohsiung. And then you take the ferry across right over here. All right, it's all downhill from here after seeing the fort. Overall, the visit to this island was really neat. A lot of fun. Uh, it's a good little just small half a day trip, maybe day trip if you want to go swimming. Um, there is a beach there where you can go swimming and stuff. Um, and some other water sports. I think there's some surf lessons going on there too. There's also, you know, places you can get, grab some food and drink along the way. Um, the biking path is a lot of fun. You can rent the electric bikes or you can rent uh, pedal bikes like we did. Overall, round trip all the way from the pier to where the main attractions are, which are probably like the windmills, probably takes about, uh, I wanna say it's about 10K, maybe 12K. So yeah, overall it was a really interesting and cool day trip. All right, let's see if I can try my luck to win one of these little cute seals. Let's try for this guy right here. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Tim Ho Wan is another dim sum restaurant that we really enjoy, specifically for their sugar-coated pork buns. I've reviewed the place in a previous video and their Hong Kong location was awarded a Michelin star before. We got the fried rice with XO sauce. 
We got mango pomelo sago dessert, although they brought it out first. And then we got the pork buns, the good old pork buns. Covered in sugar, cha siu in the center, gooey. And then we got an order of vegetable too, pork bun. First time we had these were in Hong Kong, but that filling is just cha siu and a lot of sugar and caramel. Salted egg custard buns, black bean spare ribs, usual dim sum fare, pork chung fun, rice rolls, springy, hot. So so, a little mushy, should be springy. Mm, not the best. Just go for it. Yeah, that's a really nice pork bun. Baked pork bun, not steamed. With a ton of sugar on the outside. This is nothing but sugar. Oh, I love that. That is so good. It was so bad. Gonna be carb overload. All right, last item to have, custard buns. I would say the two items that were the lacking was the custard bun, and this was so-so. Paul said it kind of was like too eggy almost. And the chung bun, well, it was just too mushy. It should be springy, but it should give back. This is just kind of mushy when it, you bite into it. But everything else, really good. Pork ribs were good, the mango pomelo, sago with sweetened condensed milk, that's really good. Fried rice was definitely a standout. That was really good with the lap chung, the Chinese sausage. Definitely worth checking out though. 975 new Taiwanese dollars, about 40 bucks. All right, good morning. We're looking at a Hong Kong style pineapple bun this morning. That's what's for breakfast. And then after that, we are going to take a trip up to Tai'an City, which used to be the capital, capital of Taiwan. And it's about a half hour train ride, maybe 45 minutes from Kaohsiung City. And um, there is a high speed rail and it does it only in 15 minutes. But the only issue with that is that it's really far away from any of the main attractions. There's all kinds of really, apparently, really cool historical sites. So let's go check it out. Oh man, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. But it's nothing but a huge, huge honking slab of butter in this bun that's covered in this sugary coating. And for those of you who don't know, a pineapple bun or bolo bao, there's no actual pineapple in it. It's just, it looks like a pineapple in the texture. But look at this freaking piece of butter in that. Man, that is rich. Taiwan is a subtropical country and cold drink shops are found everywhere. Chicken Tower. Ch Shai Kan Tower. All right, so we just got something to drink, something refreshing. It's a hot day, like usual here. Another day in paradise. And then we took the train from Kaohsiung to Taiyan and we didn't take the high-speed rail, we took the main train and then from, because the main train takes you right into the core and it was really inexpensive too. It's in the high-speed rail station but adjacent to it, it's in behind so the regular rail station, the TRA I think it's called. And then now we're just gonna check out some of the sites. We hit up the tourist bureau or the tourist information center outside the train station here in Tyan. Yeah, we're just gonna walk around and check out the sites. So apparently the Dutch built this back in the day. I forget how long ago. Yeah, the Dutch were everywhere. Check out that 
that tree there. We only hit a few sites in Tayan because we were getting kind of tired from all the travel. So we called it an early day, but it's definitely a place that's worth visiting and we'll probably try to make our way back here someday. Look at these drinks. Apparently it makes you bending. Make you bending. Oh, look at the passion fruit in that. Mango. And that's thick too. Lots of mango. These cakes were so good. We got them with an Oreo in the middle. Art or Urban Decay. Check this out. This is how you get to go in Taiwan for soup, for noodle soup. They separate it in two plastic bags and then she put it in this nice cool knot. She tied it so that way you can just grab it and hang on. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, check out this soup. Winter melon pork neck soup. Delicious, look at that, that, oh, so good. This is a water filling station. In Kaohsiung, you can't drink the water directly from the tap, even if you boil it, because the groundwater has high levels of arsenic. On our final full day in Kaohsiung, we took the bus to Fo Guan Shan Temple and Buddha Memorial Center. The place is not located close to the center of the city, so the bus spends most of its time on the highway. This is a big city. It was also the surprising highlight while visiting Kaohsiung. All right, so we're at the Fu Guang Shang Monastery. This place is massive, so we're gonna go check this out. I don't know if it's a monastery. I guess it's a monastery memorial hall, but this place is massively big. Of course there is. This place has totally embraced modern technology. So to get here we took express bus, the Harvard Express bus, from the high-speed rail station. It's just outside of the high-speed rail station and the bus takes you directly here. It only takes a half hour. It's really quick and it's really cheap. It also leaves every hour so time it accordingly. Man, this place is magnificent. Beautiful. So these pagodas here, you can't actually go up them. They're actually all office buildings. We went in one and the woman actually, well, she gave us some lucky candy. She was very sweet, but uh, she told us to proceed up to the Big Buddha. This place is a must stop if you come to Kaohsiung, especially uh, Kaohsiung is more of an industrial city. There doesn't seem to be a lot of tourist infrastructure, at least compared to other cities. It's still a great city to visit. It's beautiful. It's got some real, it got a great vibe to it. But if you're here in Kaohsiung, definitely come visit this monastery. Buddhism has totally gone tech. Alright, more stairs. place to visit that's kind of tranquil and chill. You can even stay overnight here apparently too. So if you want to, I think they have the dormitory where people can book off and stay here as well. So if that's something you're into, you could totally do that as well. So we just found this little tiny chill place to relax for a bit. It's so peaceful here, which is what you would expect at a Buddhist monastery. So this is the map of Fo Guang Shan. We explored all around here. We walked up 
this side here and then we went up unfortunately the, um, some of the, mu the museum was closed today and some of the other exhibits just look at the size of this place we won't have time to explore it all today then there's also the monastery down here which I think you can actually visit there's so many butterflies There's even a Starbucks on the premises. All right, time to catch our bus. So on the weekdays, the bus doesn't come that frequently, but we're gonna catch the 1703, so the 503 bus, back to the high-speed rail bus station. So this is the Dome of Light located at Formosa Boulevard Station and it's the largest public art installation with stained glass I believe, something like that. But anyways, it's really cool. Worth checking out if you're just passing through the station. This was our final day in Kaohsiung, so we're gonna finish off eating at our favorite restaurant, Din Tai Fung, one last time. Tomorrow we fly to Singapore. We had an amazing time in Taiwan. So check out my other Taiwan vlogs and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll end with me at the airport taking a drink of water from these dispensing machines with a paper cup. Refreshing? Wet. <laughs>